Hi, today we are going to see demo for on-demand web publication. First, we will open the MangoDB. Click on the connect. Then go to the Visual Studio. Explore the SLC folder. Then you can see the backend and the client server on the source code. Click on the client. Go to the SRC file and you can view the com components it have all react.js components files then go to the readme text here you can view the how to open the application in step by step procedure and then on demand login details next start the backend and the client server so open the terminal First, we will start the backend server. So, open the readme text. You can see the CD backend. Copy to paste the backend terminal. Now, backend is add path. Next, start the backend. So, copy the npm start and paste to the backend terminal. Now backend server is connected. Next open the new terminal. So click on the plus. Client add to a new path. So copy the CD client and paste to the terminal. Next start the client server. So copy the npm run build and paste to the client terminal. Now client server is connected, then copy the URL code and paste to the browser. Now we can see the on-demand web application. It have three modules, service, admin and user. First we will start the service module. Click on the service and login into the Enter home page. Enter the email ID and password. Now we can see the business home page. First, we will start the create service. So click on the create service and then enter, enter your enter your profile details. First enter your name and your service charge. Next your service category. Select your service categories. Then enter your portfolio and address. After you fill this registration, then click on the submit. After you register your profile, admin can, admin will be approved your profile. Then go to the update service. You can search your contact details. And then you can view your profile details and then you can edit or delete next click on the geo map click on the allow now update your current location next you can see the show map if you can see your location Next, go to the service request. Venters, you can view the user request on this page. And then, now you, are, now you are available, click on the update status and then 
accept their request then go to the show map we can view the user location click on the view feedback we can view user feedback about, about your service my profile is used to edit your profiles then go to the admin modules login into the admin front page enter your email id and password Now we can see the service approval and the user details modules. First we will open the service approval. Admin can view the all all vendors details on this page. And then you can approve our service. Click on the update status and approve the profile. Now go to this home app. Admin can view the vendor locations. Next click on the user detail, you can view the all user details on this page. Next we will move for the user. Now click on the user module, go to the register now. You have to sign up, enter the given detail, enter your name, enter your email id, Then enter your password. Now, next click on the sign up. Your password must contain at least one capital letter, one special character, and then eight digit of characters. Now, register successfully. If you already register, you can enter your email ID and password. Then login into the user home page. Login successfully. Now we can see the user home page. First, we will go to the find service. User can search you need service category and then you can see the vendor profile. Next request to vendor. Click on the request and then enter your re service request. Next enter your mobile number. Request is Submitted. Next, you can see your request and request status. Click on the GU map. Now, update your current location. Then go to the show map. You can see your location. Go to the my profile. If you want to change your contact detail, Enter the edit profile, then change your details. That's the whole on-demand web application.